Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, ABC fully inscribed uh, in a circle with the center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 45 degrees and this uh, chord uh, AB is uh, 20 units and this chord AB is the side length of this uh, yellow shaded triangle as well and furthermore uh, these points uh, a b and c are on the circle and now our task is uh, to calculate the circumference uh, of this uh, circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step in order to make our job uh, simpler we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines so therefore i am going to connect uh, this center o with this uh, vertex a and this uh, center o with with this vertex uh, b as well as you can see in this uh, next step i have connected uh, these points and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, a o is the radius uh, of this circle and likewise this uh, OB is the radius uh, as well. I'm going to label this uh, radius as lowercase uh, r and this uh, radius uh, lowercase r uh, as well. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle uh, ACB is uh, at the circumference. And this uh, angle uh, AOB is uh, at the center. So if this angle is 45 degrees, uh, then this angle uh, at the center is going to be twice of uh, 45 degrees is going to make it uh, 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AOB. And we can see that this is our right triangle since uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 20 and our two other legs are uh, lowercase r and lowercase r as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have uh, r square plus uh, r square equals to 20 whole uh, square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 2r square is going to be equal to 400 uh, on the right hand side. And now I am going to divide both uh, sides uh, by 2. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore our r square value is going to be equal to 200. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore, our radius uh, r turns out to be 10 times the uh, square root of 2 units. And now since we figured out our radius uh, as 10 times the uh, square root of 2 units, we are going to calculate the circumference uh, of this uh, circle. And now let's recall the circumference uh, of a circle formula circumference equals to 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle and we know in our case uh, the radius is 10 times square root of 2 so therefore the circumference uh, of this circle is going to be 2 times uh, pi times our radius uh, is uh, 10 times uh, square root of uh, 2 let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 20 times uh, pi times the square root of uh, two units and if we put in a decimal so the circumference uh, of uh, this uh, circle uh, is going to be approximately equal to 88.86 uh, units uh, as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the circumference of this uh, circle turns out to be 20 times pi times square root of 2 units and that is approximately equal to 88.86 units as well and that's our final answer 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my, my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.